Hey guys, I'm Aaron from PhoneDog.com. And you know what? I was sitting there doing a video review earlier, minding my own business, sitting in my office, when all of a sudden the UPS guy came. Now, that's nothing out of the ordinary. I get packages all the time, but I wasn't expecting one today. So I kind of had to cheat and open it up off camera just to see what it was. And Clearwire was nice enough to send over their Rover Portable Hotspot, or Rover Puck Portable Hotspot, rather, that was announced today. Now, it's prepaid service, and you can sign up for it on three levels on a daily level for $5, weekly level for $20, or a monthly level for $50. And you can connect up to eight devices to this Puck hotspot. So it's a nice option, and it's funny to see in, the, in these data days where it's become kind of a data war, if you think about it. You know, these clear wire options are coming out, and they're tailored to specific devices and specific needs. Uh, Virgin Mobile's prepaid options are coming out. Several different data options, and it's funny because you look, you know, three or four years ago, data today is really what minutes were three or four years ago. You know, instead of getting 100 or 200 or 300 minutes uh, on prepaid or postpaid plans, you're getting 200 megabytes, 2 gigabytes, 5 gigabytes, or unlimited data. So data is quickly becoming what minutes were several years ago, so it's interesting to see this evolution happen. But, you know, you're thinking, enough of, enough of this Aaron guy talking. Let's get into the unboxing. So here it is, the unboxing of Clearwire's Puck Mobile Hotspot, Rover Puck Mobile Hotspot, rather, and it's going to start right now. So here is the Clearwire, well, actually, this is a FedEx box, or a UPS box. How dare I say this on camera? It's a UPS box, uh, but inside, bam, is the uh, Clearwire Rover, the Rover Puck Portable, portable Wi-Fi Hotspot. Neat device, and you know, it's part of this ongoing data war that's going on. You know, it's interesting to see Virgin Mobile offering prepaid data as of last week or a couple weeks ago, you know, $40 unlimited uh, broadband card, but you know, it's limited to one device. Once you plug it into your laptop, you can't use it as a, a hotspot or anything like that. This one's a little bit more, it's prepaid data, but you can see on the back, uh, per day, $5 per week, 20 or per month, 50. So at 50, it's a little bit more, but it's unlimited 4G internet, and you can use it on more than one device. It acts as a Wi-Fi hotspot. So it's interesting to, interesting to see because you think three or four years ago, or you know, even two years ago, it was all based on minutes. You got your prepaid phone, prepaid whatever, and it was you know you got 100 minutes or 200 minutes or 500 minutes. It's always been based on minutes, and we're seeing a revolution where it's shifting to data, and you're getting unlimited data or two gigabytes of data. So the tiers are kind of switching, if you will, but. You're like, shut up and unbox at the rover. Okay, I'm going to do that right now. So let's see. Put these in these crazy, like, theft proof. I'm going to cheat. I just cheated. So we're going to open it this way. There we go. You can see, nice little hockey puck looking thing. Move that one a little bit. And there is the rover under more plastic. It's an industrial strength packet in here. But let's look at the size actually first. You know, 4G Unleashed, you can see the device, as I showed you the pricing, no commitments, no credit checks, so another prepaid data option. Uh, check coverage, I'm in a 4G area, so it's good. Activate online, re-up your account. We'll do all that. The rover puck. I think if I read on the side somewhere that it comes with a car charger, which is a nice little perk. Let's see here. There is the Rover Puck. Sandra, yep. And that's what it looks like. Kind of makes me want to throw it like a Frisbee, but I'm not going to do that because I don't think Clearwire would like me very much if I returned their Rover Hotspot uh, trashed. Anyway, Rover Portable Hotspot, prepaid, kind of looks like a hockey puck, nice design there. And then in the box, you get the quick start guide, uh, rover decals, put on the back of your car, yeah, the rover, and then a bigger one down there, and then some other instruction manuals, AC adapter module, USB cable, which doubles up, like it always does, this power cord, and then, this is a nice little pro, a car adapter for your cigarette lighter or for your power adapter with the USB jack as well. So when you're in the car, which I have been before, you know, with the uh, Sprint Overdrive or some of the other hotspot solutions and I wanted to charge in the car while I'm sitting in the parking lot, plug it in and you're in business and you can charge from there. So you can use it while on the road. When I say that, I'm not saying use it while driving. That's incredibly dumb. Don't do that. But uh, while you're in a parking lot or while you're, you know, waiting for some food or waiting, you know, waiting for a meeting, whatever, you can use it in your car. So that's a nice perk there. 
Well, so a couple goodies in the box, but let's see. I doubt it may not have any juice, but we'll certainly power it up and give it a try. And you can see all the status lights down there on the bottom. And the plastic. It's the Rover. I'm wondering if the battery's dead. Nope, well, maybe. And you can see USB plug in there. Other than that, it's pretty nondescript. I like the way it looks, and it looks good on the desk. Neat little futuristic looking item. And I'm thinking the battery is dead, so let's go ahead and plug it in and just power it on to get an idea of what that looks like. So I want to show you what I'm doing right now. I actually connected it um, you know, to charge, and it's charging up, and it's allowed me to connect. So this is what you're going to see when you purchase a rover. You're going to plug it in, you know, you're going to activate it, um, or turn it on, rather, and you're going to connect to it like a Wi-Fi network. And the first page you see when you open your browser is going to look like this. And it's going to say, you know, connected to Puck, and it's going to give the, uh, the Mac, and then the device, and how much time is remaining. It says I have zero days remaining. So you can purchase... As you can see here, choose your rate. You can purchase five dollars a day, twenty a week, or fifty a month, and what it accepts. Now I have a fifty dollar credit from uh, Clearwire, so let's see here. Clear, blah blah blah. I have automatically applied. Credit card will be charged for any remaining balance. Let's see if it'll just let me re up. Should give me a monthly. Your payment method, good, good. Okay, so that should let me re-up from there since I have a $50 balance. Now, you, obviously, you won't get the $50 balance on yours, but that gives you an idea of what it looks like and how easy it is to go through the setup. So, good to go. Okay, it gives me an order number, and it's been sent to the email address listed in my account, so I'm connected. Now, one thing to keep in mind with the Rover is it's a 4G-only device. So if you're in a 3G coverage area or you travel to a 3G coverage area, you're not going to be able to use it. I think there's 49, if I recall, existing 4G uh, markets available at the moment. So you have to be within that market. You know, I happen to live on the edge of uh, a 4G market in Charlotte. I travel 7 or 10 miles north, and I'm out of coverage area. So if I am going to a coffee shop that's 10 miles away, for example, I can't use my rover. So keep that in mind. You have to be in a 4G coverage area to use it. But... Let's do some uh, speed tests. We'll go through here and have a look on the computer. And you'll see with the lights powered on, it gives me an idea. Signal uh, looks low, but you can see the Wi-Fi that's connecting via Wi-Fi and the power that is charging. So let's have a look here. At the speed test. Now again, I live on a fringe area, um, so I don't expect the speeds to be as good as they could be being in uptown Charlotte, for example. I will, you know, do formal testing uptown in several of the uh, the dense areas. But you can see what it's like on the on a fringe, you know, on a fringe area. Uh, 0.68 megabits per second. So yeah, it's a little slower up here. Uh, I'm sure it's much better in the in, in uptown in that area. But that gives you an idea of what it's like. Um, on the French side. Let's test again just for fun. Okay, it looks like it's going to pick up a little bit here. You know, we're, we're hovering about 0 0.880 megabits per second, somewhere around there, 0.76 uh, on the download speed. And then on the upload, roughly 0 0.40, yeah, about 0.41 megabits per second. So being on a fringe area, you know, it's not the greatest, but uh, rest assured I'll do some more testing uptown uh, in, in some of the uh, dense areas in the city to see how the speeds are. So don't take that as a final indicator, but it's nice to finally see some prepaid uh, alternatives there. So there you have it, the Clearwire Rover prepaid 4G mobile hotspot device. It's a lot to say in one sentence, uh, but it's available now through Best Buy and other channels. And it's a nice uh, prepaid option. Again, it's only available in, or only able to be used in 4G markets. It doesn't have any backwards 3G compatibility. But it's here to compete with the Virgin Mobile broadband air card and several of the other uh, data options that are coming out. More so in the past couple of months, but you know, that have been coming out for some time now. No longer are you tied to Time Warner, to Charter, to Dish, to DirecTV. You have some options when it comes to internet. And this is one of them now. So much more coverage to come on PhoneDog.com. 
Hit me up on Twitter, phone dog underscore Aaron, with any questions about the rover, and be sure to stay tuned to our Facebook page and like us, like us, like us. Facebook.com slash phone dog. Stay, stay tuned there for some exclusive content. I'm Aaron. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.